And now in English, because this man came right from Beijing, but he lives in California. Uh, Mitch, he has lighted up his name here. Uh, Mitch, what you are doing here? Uh, I saw some soldiering irons, so some some cool stuff, some some things you you crafting things, you build up Arduino re remote controls. What are you doing? Well, I, uh, I've been coming to uh, Chaos Congress for a number of years now, and um, the first one I went to, no one was really making anything, and I thought, well, oh, I'd love to uh, contribute to this community, because I totally fell in love with it, my first Chaos Congress. And so the ones that I came to afterwards, I brought soldering irons with me, and it was really popular, and each year I brought more and more soldering irons until now we have this whole area full and of You're completely irons. sold out. Yeah, and I have all these kits, uh, open source kits that me and friends make uh, for teaching people who've never made anything how to solder and make cool things with electronics. Yeah. So I love doing that. And you, uh, you also study electronics or are you only crafting them? Uh, yeah, I study electronics for way too many years in university, but I've been playing all my life and yeah. um, that's where I learned the most, not so much from university, but by just playing. And, and that's what I do in this, these environments. I create a, an environment for people to play with electronics so they can learn and uh, see how fun and easy and useful it is. So I touched in the same minute uh, at my back, but I forgot the key remote control that you also sold. Yeah. Uh, so I will put uh, in a... Yes, exactly that thing. <laughs> TV be gone. <laughs> TV be gone. Uh, that's a remote control for public areas. Yeah, it turns TVs off in public spaces. And okay. uh, yeah, I made it because I wanted one because I, I, I don't like TV and I got rid of it from my apartment, but uh, I couldn't get rid of it in public places, but I could turn them off because I'm a geek and I figured out how to do it, so I did. And uh, yeah, it's kind of weird because it became super popular. And I've, the last 11 years, I've made a living from this okay. a project I really love. So I encourage everyone to do that. That's really cool. That's good to know. Uh, to know. And what's that? That's an Arduino platine? And yeah. what you can do with that in uh, composition with the parts in this package? Mm. Yeah, so this board... And um, this one. <laughs> yeah, so there's a communication. Once you solder this together, uh, you can hook up the communications cable to um, a computer, uh, Mac OS, Windows, or Linux, and then download any number of like 100,000 projects for Arduino. Uh, like robot controllers or flying machines, blinky lights, uh, noisemakers, all sorts of cool things. And um, yeah, and anyone can learn to do this. So over the course of the last few days, I've taught Arduino for total newbies workshops. And um, uh, a lot of people learn how to do it. And it's really, really fun. I saw it too, but I didn't have time, sorry. Yeah, but we can only do so much. <laughs> yeah, the, that's the problem. And uh, yeah, as a reporter, you have to do so much as you do. So uh, you enjoy it also? Did you also have time to enjoy the Congress or did you all only I teach barely, people? Yeah, I barely had time to leave this area. But um, no, I enjoy. Congress no matter what. I mean, it wouldn't do this unless I totally love it, and I do. Uh, so a lot of people have come through here over the last four days, and I've met lots of people I only see really once a year for Congress, yeah. and uh, a lot of new people. And so, yeah, so, I enjoy the hell out of this. It's wonderful. And how many times you came, uh, came in the past to the Congress? Uh, well, this is 32 C3s. Uh, the first one for me was 23 C3, and that was 2006. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I have all the... Uh, <laughs> oh, please show it in the camera. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm newbie, veteran. <laughs> so, so, yes, it's exciting and makes you happy. Yeah, it's, it's really one of the highlights of my year every year. So, other than Chaos Camp, which is over the top, which only happens every four years, um, yeah, this is, this is one of the best times of my year. And what will... Uh, one of your next projects or 
Uh, right now, I'm working on uh, a music synthesizer that's Arduino compatible, and uh, it's um, you know Arduino is not a very powerful uh, computer on it, but I have n I've been playing with this stuff for a number of years, so I pull a bunch of tricks so I can make some pretty interesting noises and sounds and music with an Arduino. So it'll be a very inexpensive music synthesizer that anyone, even total newbies, can make. And people who are more advanced who want to learn can learn digital signal processing for audio with it because it'll be really well documented. And what is your advice for people, they are newbies or they, they say, okay, I'm interested about this, what I can do? Uh, play. <laughs> you know, uh, there's all sorts of, you can do it on your own with the internet, but you know, now there's thousands of hacker spaces on the planet and there's full of people who are willing to share what they know. And, you know, if you go there willing to share what you know with other people, then you can uh, explore and find some things maybe you really love doing. And, um, you know, and uh, that's what it's all about. It's a community that's supportive for people to explore and do cool stuff. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day in Hamburg. Yeah, thanks. And a, a good way home. Okay, thanks. Wherever that is. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a while, but I'll get there eventually. <laughs> San Francisco. San Francisco. The city of the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. And also Silicon Valley. Okay. Cheers. Bye-bye uh, and ciao. <laughs>